to do is we are going to look for our inner beauty, okay? So I need you all, and all of you, not just the ones on stage, I need you to come up with three positive characteristics about yourself. But it can't be your physical beauty. It has to be your inner strength. So, you know, anything inner, anything you're good at, um, your personality traits, um, just anything that comes from the inside. So you guys understand what I mean by that. Um, oh, you know what? I don't need that yet. Anyway. So what we're going to do is <laughs> we're going to play a song, a really powerful song by the Barlow Girls um, called Mirror Mirror while you guys reflect. It's kind of a long song. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself up here. Maybe ballet or something. I don't know. Um, but the lyrics will be on the screen if you want to join in. Um, it's a very powerful song. So roll it. Roll it. Oh, oh, wait. Shoot. You guys are supposed to. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. You guys are supposed to write these. Sorry. 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 Slight okay. mix up. <laughs> okay. Roll it. <laughs> Everyone, I'm trusting and I love people no matter what their past is or the mistakes that they've made. Wow, that's powerful. And what's your name? I'm Savannah and I love to be active and I always give 120% to everything I do. Um, I love to smile and just be happy and I just love to have fun with everybody. Good. Good. What's your name? I'm Taylor. Taylor. Um, I'm energetic. I'm outgoing, I love to smile, and I'm very creative. Cool. Very cool. Hi. What's your name? Anna. Anna. Um, I'm creative, good at soccer and caring. Good. Good. I'm Madeline, and God gave me an amazing voice, and he made me really smart, and also he gave me a need and a want to help and encourage people. Good. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you to our volunteers. Um, as you're exiting the stage, you can grab a gift basket. Um, for volunteering. Okay, so first of all, in the first letter encouraging, we look for our inner beauty. So I want it, cool Bible, huh? Purple butterfly. Woo! Um, so I wanted to read to you from 1 Samuel 16, 7, um, as it talks about inner beauty. It says, the Lord doesn't see things the way you see them. People judge by appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Very powerful scripture there. Um, also, another scripture on inner beauty uh, is 1 Peter 3. Don't be concerned about the outward beauty of fancy hairstyles, expensive jewelry, or beautiful clothes. You should clothe yourself instead with beauty that comes from within. The unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is so precious to God. I mean, I know as women we like our clothes and our hair, but it really is more important to cultivate your inner beauty. I mean, we do like to look nice and this and that, but that's not what's most important. So cultivate your inner beauty. Some of the be most beautiful people are extremely ugly on the inside. Very ugly, and, um, you know, it, it's really important. You, you may have been blessed with good looks, but really work on your inner strengths and your inner beauty. So I'm glad I didn't forget that. That's important. God would have been really mad at me. So, and I'm going to come out to the audience, mic check, for um, recreational activities that are going to strengthen you, okay? We're looking for things that are going to strengthen what we came up with. They're going to strengthen your inner strengths. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Youth group. Youth group. That is very important. I was not part of that, and you'll hear that in my testimony. Youth group. If you can get involved in a youth group, wow, you will make better decisions. Trust me. Dance. Dance. Good one. Oh, okay. Any kind of sport with friends, I guess. 
Okay. Any kind of sport, okay? Okay, so school clubs. Yeah, baby, after school clubs. Okay, um, can we think of anything else? I mean, we got we got a look, good list going here. Uh, Pam? Volunteering, which I'm going to talk about, actually, Pam. So you... Okay. Music. Music, okay. Mentoring. Mentoring, good one. Playing with little kids. Playing with little kids. Oh, that's a good one. Now we're going to come up with a different form of the word. W-R-E-C-K. And I thought I was so clever when I came up with this, but it might have been God working through me. Recreational. Now, what I mean by this is recreational, meaning things that are going to ruin, destroy, wreck, you know. Somebody asked me, what is wreck? And I'm like, uh, hello? It's <laughs> ruin, destroy, wreck? I don't know. <laughs> My best friend. Drinking. Drinking, yes. Thank you. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Negative thoughts. Negative thoughts. Are we going too fast for you, volunteer? We're going to erase it anyway, so. <laughs> Actually, we're not going to erase. We're not going to erase you. Yeah. Um, bullying. Bullying. Good. See, this is great. Hanging out with the wrong people. Hanging out with the wrong people. Big one. Bad friends. Yeah, same. Watch the company you keep. For real. Drugs. Drugs. Lying. Lying. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Bad music. Bad music, yes. See, you guys are creative. This is good. Smoking. Good. Yes. Drama with boys, she said. How's our list looking here? Boys in general, okay? We've generalized this. Okay, that's good. I mean, until you're about 25 when you're developed. Oh my gosh, does it does it make your self-esteem boost when you are volunteering and helping other people? Like, I go up to my church every um, Saturday, third Saturday of the month. We do, like, a food ministry, and we cook these people that are in need. We cook them dinner, and we give them out groceries. And, and I serve the food. I love to cook, and... I go up there and I, you know, these people come through the line and I serve the food and I chat with them and, and I love to socialize. I mean, seriously, volunteering will bless you. It blesses me. I mean, I love it. And then we are here to volunteer, baby. Yeah. And then, uh, also, okay, you know, everybody, everybody's like, oh, the Bible, I don't understand it. Oh, it's so hard to read. I don't get it, you know. Okay, well, there's like a hundred versions of the Bible, okay? Like, it's not that difficult. If you know how to read, you can read the Bible. This Bible is for um, young women. It's a beautiful Bible, really. Butterfly and all. Um, it's purple, yeah. But, um, and by the way, purple is not even my favorite color. Green is, but... Um, but, but reading the Bible, oh my gosh, did God give us such a great tool for living? I mean, I never read the Bible. Up until I was um, 25. And boy, was I missing out on some truth. Some major truth. So I would encourage each and every one of you, if I could give every single one of you one of these Bibles tonight, I would do it. And you know what? Let's just make that statement right now. I will do that one day. I will be giving out Bibles to every, each and every one of these people that attend these programs.